As one of Mike's team members, he always emphasizes green, sustainable building products whenever we can use them. So in insulation, you do have quite a selection on different types of insulation, various levels of green. And it's really how you define green. Is it the recyclability of the product, the sustainability, and what have you? But right here we have a little um, display wall of, in the upper left, this is denim or cotton insulation. Uh, it's getting a lot of press right now. It's actually 0% recycled uh, blue jeans, but it is from the cotton mills and uh, a little expensive compared to the other products. This is an old rock wool product from steel mills or slag. It's a rock product. They melt it and fiberize it. It's the dead air cells in insulation or any fiber, even, even the cotton insulation. It's the dead air cells that insulates. And then we've got the latest fiberglass insulation that is formaldehyde free. So fiberglass traditionally uh, has formaldehyde binders in it up until recently. And this is a product by Knopf that went to a plant-based binder. So it's, it's very green. Not, not only is it formaldehyde free, like the white product from Johns Manville, but the Johns Manville product is a petroleum-based binder, an acrylic binder, and these guys took it one step further and got rid of the acrylic, acrylic oil-based products. Cellulose insulation is blown in. You can put it in behind a net in new construction, and it's recycled newspaper loose filled fiberglass, and then the older traditional fiberglass, the pink, Owens Corning, yellow, certain teed, that are still using those traditional binders.